of a team. Like I said, they'll always be linked down in the description below in every one of these Alaska videos. Go check out their website. Hit them up on Instagram. Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Uh, we're down here in the... We haven't showed them the, anything in the lodge anything. yet. Anything. We should start down here, though. Yeah, let's start it down here, and then by the end of the video today, uh, it's a big day. We have a morning and evening hunt planned. It's raining outside. Don't know how the rain's going to affect today. But before we get going here, I want to thank uh, Charlie at Cold Bay Adventures for having us all out. He donated uh, four spots, me, P. Diddy, and then the two giveaway winners uh, for us to come out here on this dream trip. And then I want to tell you the Ducks, new camo hats and pullovers. You got your pullover on. Unzip your... Dylan, show them. Uh-huh. You show them the front. Oh, you can't see the front camera. Don't worry about it, Gavin. <laughs> Anyways, you get the idea. Uh, I'll link it down in the description if you want to pick any of the ducks gear up. All the duck calls are in stock, goose calls. But um, it's going to get wet. Yep. We're we going to get wet. This is the locker room, gun cleaning room over there. Go show them the, uh, room. the gun cleaning essentials. Well, check this out. It's because uh, the uh, seawater, salt water, has got a little dunk tank and it's uh, like a degreaser. Multiple multi-purpose degreaser. Yeah. yeah, pretty neat. Pretty cool little system. Uh, yesterday was a second hunt, and my gun was already starting to rust up. So that's a lifesaver. <coughs> We're out windy. here. It's a little windy. Just just a little. Uh, how many knots is she blowing? Did anybody say? 20. 20 knots? Sustained. Just steady 20. 25, 25 mile an hour. 25 mile an hour? Oh, that's like, that's more than 25. That feels like... 26. Sustained. Yeah, so it's gusting around 40, 45. Sustained 20 to 30. Uh, we're getting ready to sit sail on the old boat again today. Uh, I don't know how far we're running. Not as far as yesterday. Not as far as yesterday? Nope. Good. Looks like it'll be easy. Hopefully we don't get rained on. Let's roll. What's what up? was that ride like? Uh, it was like being on a Deadliest Catch, dude. It Wasn't was, it? It was so I felt like wet. we were on the History Channel or something. It was dude, cool. That was the Wild West experience, what we've been hearing about. I, I wish I could have filmed it, but... Yeah, it was too wet. I, I could have had my GoPro. I think I got snot running down my face. Yeah, it's all right. Dude, thank God. If you guys come up here, you got to have waders for every day. You have to have a good waterproof upper that's warm. You have to stay waterproof. Uh, the only thing that isn't waterproof on me today is my hands, and it's all right. But if I, if I hadn't had waterproof, you know, lower or upper, I would be screwed. Like, I'd be cold. Um, sitting at probably... 45 degrees with this this is every bit of a 40 mile an hour yeah. wind out here uh so the wind chill is probably 40 so we're gonna get set here we're putting silos along the bank we're on a very very small little island p diddy will show you when the sun comes up oh we're out here probably gonna want to talk loud yeah uh, i hope you can hear me it's really freaking windy we're out here small little island i wanted to show you how small it is check it out I was to guess, maybe, I don't know, 80 yards long, 60 yards long, I don't know, not very big. Uh, what are you thinking? I'm thinking this is going to be a fun hunt. Like Gil. I said, I think this is going to be a fun hunt. I feel like <laughs> I'm on Gilligan's Island right that now. That wasn't the craziest that, boat ride. That was the craziest boat ride. It if was. anybody didn't get a shower this morning, they got it on that boat ride, yeah, that's for sure. Still tasting salt on the lips. What do you think? That boat ride was pretty cool. Like you would hit the wave and then all of it would come over. It was like we were on Deadliest Catch or something. Man. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, but this is a spread. We got five dozen silos up right along the water's edge. Uh, this is our blind material today. Eel grass yet again. And then we got some ramp floaters out in front of us on long strings. Uh, little U shape. Here we go, I'm gonna get 
sat down. Uh, hope the wind isn't too bad. The wind might be real bad. I bet. I bet. I you gotta know. yell. Yeah. Again, sorry for the wind, y'all. Yeah, nothing we can do about it. Nothing that we can do about it. We want to bring y'all along on these hunts, and y'all want to be here. Uh, I haven't announced it yet, but we're demonetized. Yeah. And we're trying to figure out what the hell to do with our lives. We are. And I, when it happened, it happened at the airport when we were in Chicago. Yep, we were sitting down, having a drink. Yeah, it sucks. YouTube is going the wrong way. It sucks, and I'm not, I haven't, uh, I haven't said anything, but I'm sure you guys have seen the announcement video, and I'm sure I'll be talking about it quite a bit. We're laid down. This is the situation. Ill grass yet again. How you feeling? Oh, uh, living the dream. Living the dream. living the dream. You ain't lying, living the dream. Whew. What a deal. When you lay down, you actually get out of, uh, out of the wind quite a bit, so not too bad. It's actually pretty comfy, right? Oh, absolutely. On the right here, what's this, Brant? On the right. Out front. Is that Brant? Yeah. Out front. You ready? Shoot him! One down. That's mine. He's right here. Shoot him! One down. That's mine. He's right here. See him? We got two down. Watch the dog on the left side. There we go. He's down. There we go. What? Good girl. Take your one, Chris. Nice shot. Get him. Oh, we got one. Nice shoot. Nice shot. Get him. Oh, we got Well, uh, I'm done. Got my two birds. No tarsal. <laughs> no tarsal. We've been praying for a tarsal. This is amazing. He has one more to shoot. Chris has two birds to shoot. P. Diddy filming behind me. He hasn't shot yet, so. Probably gonna take his spot on the camera. P Diddy will man the shot cam. Yeah, baby. Here you go, Chris. One to shoot, baby. One more. That was a good shot. You plucked him. Oh my god. <laughs> One down here. Who was that? That was me. Oh, <laughs> that was Preston. <laughs> it was too close. <laughs> Yeah, you got one. I didn't even know you were going to shoot, guy. <laughs> one to shoot, baby. That was a good shot. You plucked him. Oh, my God. <laughs> one down here. Who was that? That was me. <laughs> oh, that was Preston. <laughs> it was too close. Not to. Yeah, you got one. I didn't even know you were going to shoot, guy. Power hour, baby. Is it? Oh, nice adult. 
out front. Well, Preston's oh. on the board. <laughs> you are one water swatting mofo, son. He was in the air. Was he? Yeah. I thought you roasted him. Oh, oh my goodness. Beautiful. here and not shoot and just bird watch there's so many brant here up to coming uh we got emperors here can you see them p diddy yeah uh so we haven't seen many of them when we first got here uh, we've seen some uh, on the bank but we haven't seen any while hunting there we go ducks we got some ducks we want to call this shot Shoot him right there. Get that bird. Night. There you go. One down. Thought you were Chris. I think it was you. I believe it was me on that Was it Chris? That was Mark? Yeah. Okay. Mark's bird. You're done. You're limited, brother. One down on the left. Again. Shoot him again, Chris. Hurry, 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 hurry. Yeah, get up and go. Aim ahead of it, like two feet ahead of it. Give it up. There you go, Diddy. Hit him again, hit him again. Nice. Him again. Keep shooting him. Shoot him again. Good shot. We're out of here. That's a little island that we're on. Itty bitty little guy. Right there. You cold? Over cold, yeah. Cold. Oh, yeah. I just been fighting my hands. Just run up and down the boat ramp. We're getting there a couple times more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're getting ready to get a little wet on the way back. packing the right gear. Not packing the right gear. Not, if you don't have the right gear, you're not gonna have fun. No, you gotta have waders and a good cocktail. Waterproof. Waterproof 
everything. Everything, yeah. Even, well, I asked the first day, I was like, well, do we need to wear our waders? And they looked at me and said, we wear your waders every day, no matter what we do. Absolutely. And yeah. it's true. Yeah. What? Take them off and go to bed, put them on when you wake up. In the Pretty much. Well, we are back home. Welcome to the lodge. Uh, this video was really short. The hunt was short. We didn't vlog much. Uh, there was a lot of work after this hunt. The weather was crazy, so we kind of just shut down the filming. I uh, hope you guys liked this video. I had to rock the GoPro on the whole boat ride. P. Diddy couldn't have the big, the big camera because it just would have got demolished with the weather and the waves and the water. But before we get going any longer here, I want to show you a couple things. The first thing, the October t-shirt of the month from Ducks. Yep, the old pintail. When you sign up for the Ducks t-shirt of the month, you are automatically entered to possibly winning a uh, Can-Am uh, just like mine. Four-door Can-Am, sweet. Flair actually has it right now. You've probably seen it on his videos. So that's number one. Uh, number two, check out the new pit bike situation. Tell him a little bit about him, old he did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you came to town and I go, hey, you want to go look at dirt bikes? <laughs> No, he has been up my rear about, Bob, we need to get some pit bikes. Bob, we need to get some pit bikes. So he found these jewels. Um, 125s. What are they? KOs? KO. It's a Chinese manufacturer, but man, they're quality. Dude, they rip. Yeah. Absolutely rip. So we bought them for hunting. We bought them for the lodge. Uh, kicking it, having fun. Hopefully don't get squirrely and too hurt on them. But I wanted to show you guys the lodge situation. Uh, been working on it a bunch here as you can tell got all the white rock down uh, just wanted to give you kind of an update What the lodge looks like Dude, since looks we've awesome. been gone. It looks so cool. That door is perfect. Yeah it, uh, we were, You were worried about it a little bit, but I think it worked out perfect. It really did felt like we were gone for a month Yeah, you know what ten days felt like forever like just kind of being away from the house It was an amazing mm -hmm. experience which mind you we have we are basically halfway through the alaska videos right yep, now there's so that's why i wanted to give an update three more three, after this one four three, more four more after this one and two of them are probably the best hunts that we did the next one that you'll see is uh some very very special ducks we shot on a huge canada goose hunt uh in the bering sea yet again and then the second one is the lay down boat hunt yep that, and that one that was different a lot it was easier shooting than I thought, but it's also a pain. It's like the logistics of getting all that stuff out there, doing that is not easy. It was definitely an entire team effort all yeah. day long yeah, yeah. to make it run right. But uh, those videos will be going up after this one uh, automatically. But I wanted to show you guys uh, what we got going on here. A lot of you that are watching right now have booked a hunt here at Sand Hill Flyways and uh, we're finally underway. Uh, we got the new exit entrance door over there. Uh, not much else has changed. I asked for your guys' opinions on the couch situation, and we heard you loud and clear. We came back, and my wife had already rearranged it. She was in the comments on that video, and I appreciate you all putting in your two cents. There was. There was just too many couches, and I think that this just kind of a little more open. A little more welcoming. Yeah, it made a lot more space back here. Yeah, it was kind of crammed before. Because you just had that table the other way too, right? And it, yeah. yeah. Cut it off. Yeah. But thank you all for your input. Um, again, guys, uh, Charlie, Somerville at Illusion Island Water Waterfowlers. Get a hold of him. Steph, Jack, Helen, amazing cook. Uh, all four of them put together one heck of a team up in Alaska. And if you all have ever just kicked around the idea of doing an Alaskan duck or goose hunt, do it with Charlie and the fellas and gals. Do it. They're the best. Um, I will say that the meals, the meals were just as good as the hunt. Top notch. Eating some of the wild game. We had moose. We ate the ptarmigan. We ate halibut. I mean, it was so good. We ate brant sausage for breakfast. Brant sausage. Reindeer sausage. You, every mill had wild game yeah. in it. Every single in some one. way, yeah. Yeah. And uh, they incorporated the land. You, you ate off the land when you're there. Three meals a day. You sit down at 5.30, 5.45, 6 a.m. For, for an entire uh, breakfast. And uh, just want to give a huge shout out to them. They do an amazing job. They provide one heck of an experience. 
All of these Alaska videos, Illusion Island, Waterfowlers, Charlie's entire service will be linked down in the description. Go to their website, hit them up, go on Instagram, hit them up. Uh, I will say the pricing, uh, it's very reasonable. I mean, honestly. When you, like, if you listen to our podcast uh, that went up on Sunday, you hear the logistics of what it's like getting stuff there and how much they spend to get stuff there. Yeah. It's, it's very reasonable. And how they have to ration all of their food, all yeah. of their liquids, everything. Um, the grocery store, very minimal. So just want to give a huge applause, a huge thank you to uh, Illusion Island Waterfowlers. Again, Helen, Charlie, Steph, and Jack, just, they really showed us around and showed us the best time that I could ever imagine. Like I said, a few more videos going up. Uh, I'm going to get busy, get this video up for you guys. If you guys can help a brother out, yes, we are monetized. Uh, a lot of you have been asking, Bob, how can I help you out? Uh, let the ads play. Honestly, uh, if you guys can let the ads play as much as you, you know, can stand, um, it does help me in that 30 days as get, far as ad revenue. Get on your phone, check Instagram, do something, just let it run. <laughs> yeah, do something, let these ads run because there was a good, you know, 10 day period uh, when I was demonetized that I lost all that. So thank you all for being here. Remember, every time that you guys pick up something from Ducks Waterfowl, you are directly supporting me. Without you guys doing that the last handful of years, your boy would not still be here. But subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned for the rest of the Alaska hunts. But until next time.